today we're going to remove the passenger seat on a 2012 Chevy Silverado. All right, the tools that you're going to be needing is going to be a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. Uh, you're going to be needing a 916 socket, a ratchet. Ah, here's the other one. And a 716. All right, you don't need the power tools or the swivel. I'm just using that for my advantage. Uh, did I mention flathead? You're gonna need a flathead. Might need needle nose in case some retainers decide to stay behind. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and grab the 10 millimeter and we'll loosen up the battery terminal first things first. Uh, the seats are electric, so let's go ahead and move the seat backwards all the way. All right, perfect, it already is. Now let's go ahead and remove the negative terminal. There it is, boop, boop, boop. I already loosened it up for the driver. So it's already loosened. So now what I'm gonna do is simply pull it up. Mm, pull it up, there it is and just stick it on the side so it doesn't touch the battery terminal and it has no current flowing through. All right, once we have that step completed, go ahead and turn on this light a little bit brighter. We're gonna use our flathead to pop this open, just like that. All right, and we have this cover here that we're gonna pull forward, oh, sorry, forward and up. All right, and <laughs> there it is man I should just include these needle nose and part of the tools that you're gonna need because there it is stuck so let's go ahead and pinch those and pry those up and this is gonna go right in here use the needle nose to stick it back in all your thumb Goodness, goodness, goodness. Go in there, you. I might need both hands real quick. All right, there it is, nice and secure. So let's go ahead and just toss that to the side. All right, so here we are. Back to the main event. 916 with a ratchet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sit that on top and break it loose, just like so. Same thing with this one. And I'm just breaking them loose, leaving that behind. Grabbing my swivel, my extension. And let's go ahead and connect that. Uh, might need both hands real quick. All right, there it is. Go ahead and just drive that out. Perfect. This is not for impact, so it keeps falling apart. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and drive this one out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and drive this other one out. All right. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the negative terminal. I guess maybe we don't need to do that first until we move to the back. Uh, let's go ahead and move our seat forward. Now we need to disconnect the battery terminal, for sure. So let's go ahead and disconnect it real quick. Set that to the side. All right, so now we're gonna use our flathead to pop this open here. And 
she is stubborn. Look at that. Goodness. Goodness. Okay. And let's go ahead and pull up. There it is. The retainer clip stayed onto that one. These are going to be 7 16 So let's go ahead and grab the ratchet. All right, and back here, like I said, it's gonna be the 7 16 So we'll go ahead and we might need an extension for that one. Let's go ahead and break this one loose. All right, let's give this one another try. Turn the socket a little bit. There it is. Just break it loose. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and drive it out. Let's go ahead and move our seat up forward. Gives us a little bit more access. And drive that out. Drive that out, sweet. Remove these screws. Let's go ahead and take off this little plastic cover. Push in the pigtail on the inside and push out. Or you can push it from the outside, I guess. Ouch. He's a flathead. There it is. Sucker was stubborn. This little hat, this thing has a lock. Go ahead and pull the lock back. Jesus. There it is. Push the pigtail down. Oh, wow. Let me use both hands real quick. All right, there it is. Out comes the pigtail. Out is the seat. Let's go ahead and remove our tools from the seat. And we'll pick it up from the front and turn it our way. Grab it from the headrest. There it is. That is how you remove a passenger seat on a 2012 Chevy Silverado. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.